build an AI agent for research and reporting. The regular way of searching and creating a report is going to internet search, search for the item and then go through different links by clicking, copying relevant information and putting it all together. That is a tedious task. But what if an AI agent does this by going through these links, summarizing key points and preparing a report? That's what this AI agent does. And we are going to create a workflow like this and I'm going to take you through step by step how this is working behind the scenes. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. So first when we see in this diagram, when the user asks a question to the AI agent, that is called as a prompt, then that request go to reason llama nematron. Then it searches for relevant information from vector database. That's where we are storing our enterprise files, private data. So it's searching in the database, retrieving relevant information and re-ranking. Then that response is returned back here to the reason llama nematron. Then it plans and reflects on the response. If it's not satisfactory or if it's not complete, then it go back to web search if it's relevant, collects all information using this Tavili web search and it comes back here again. Once that is completed, then it goes to the report generation Llama 3.3. So this is the whole process and this will simplify our process of searching through relevant files or searching the internet multiple times and preparing the final report. And I'm super excited about this. This is mainly an enterprise solution. So if you as a company have a loads of private data and you want to keep that private and still do deep research using your private data and also internet search when required. Though this automatically create API endpoints so you can easily integrate this with any of your application. At the back of this, it is a RAG process which involves two steps. So the first step is that you have your own company data or your custom data. So that data will be divided into chunks, converted into embeddings and then get stored in the database. That is step number one. So step number two, when the user asks a question, a relevant information will be pulled from the database and then be passed to a large language model to respond more accurately. That's what we see here. As a first step, we are ingesting all the enterprise files, converting those to embeddings and then saving that in the database. So as a second step, when the user asks a question, the relevant information from the vector database is pulled and then passed to the large language model as context to generate the report. So we got the code in GitHub and you can deploy this directly in the cloud. I'll put the link in the description for you to try it out. So if I go to GitHub by clicking this, you see the code here and it has all the information to deploy it. But to simplify this process, you can click this icon deploy on cloud and it automatically opens brev.nvidia.com and you just need to click deploy launchable and automatically the GPU gets prepared, the container gets deployed and the notebook will be ready for us to run this. So I'm going to click deploy launchable. So once after that is done, you can see now it is running and I can open the notebook directly from here. And at the back end, you got your own virtual machine and you can access using this option directly. Or if you want to open the notebook, clicking on this, open notebook and it's loading now. So this is a loaded notebook and here is the main playbook. So I can just open this. So this is the notebook. Get started with AIQ NVIDIA Research Assistant Blueprint. So the only prerequisite is that you need NVIDIA API key. So you can easily generate your API key by clicking this icon or the link and it will take you to this page. So here you can click get API key and generate your API key. So once after you do that, here you can see that you need to enter your API key here, whatever you created and that's it. Everything is else is ready for you to try it out. So here go to run at the top and click run all cells and that will start deploying all the required components. So by default, we need the Nemo Retriever, the vector database, Llama and Nematron. So these will get automatically deployed by just running this playbook. So I'm just clicking this run all cells. So you can see it's automatically building this and you might need to leave it for like five minutes to get it all completed. 
even if it stops in the middle, see up to which line it got executed. You can just refresh this page and again click the play icon here from the cell which you want to start. So here you can see all the required components is up. So once after all these components is up and running, in the same notebook, the step two is deploy AIQ NVIDIA Research Assistant. So the Research Assistant is in the folder. So everything is already returned. So you just need to play it, that's it. If you want web search as well, to get the latest information, you can add your Tavili API key here. So for me, I'm going to skip that and this will automatically deploy your research assistant. And you can see the process here and all done. And step number three is nothing but saving all your data into vector database. So that's what we see here. All our company or enterprise data need to be stored in the vector database. So that is the next step. So that's where we are uploading all the data here. So you can see starting to upload those files to the rack server. That is the biomedical data set. And you can see new entries or entities 4,121 and everything got uploaded and it's successful. Now this step is that next the user need to ask a question or tell the AI assistant to do deep research so that it can pull relevant information from the database and also search the internet using Tavli search if required and then prepare the final report. For that, if you go to AIQ research, there you got notebooks and then here's test REST API. So I'm just going to click this and open it and here it is. So now we can test this. So I'm just changing the URL to localhost 8051 because I'm testing it locally. And same as before, just click run and run all. So here is a generate a sample research plan and we are providing information on what to generate on and use the Nemotron model. So based on this request, it's going through all necessary steps and you got all the data here. So that's what we see in this image. So as soon as we sent that request, relevant information being pulled and it's been reiterated and performed deep research and finally you get the report. And finally, if you see here the report.txt, that's where the report got saved and this is really nice, more in depth. You also have a user interface for this, which I'll put the link in the description for you to try it out. So that is just a quick overview of how to set all these components, ingest the data to the vector database and ask a question to the agent to do in-depth research. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like this video, I also created another video about scanning thousands of vulnerabilities using NIM Blueprint. And I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.